Hi, this is Brian here. I just want to do a very quick review on the iPod Touch and to give you some tips on how to maximize um, this uh, piece of equipment. Um, first of all, I gotta say, when you take it out of the box, this would probably be one of the most amazing pieces of hardware that I've ever purchased and it's worth every penny. But having said that, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they don't allow you to add um, third-party applications to it. Um, and also, I think it's terrible that they don't allow you to add events to your calendar. Um, but thankfully, there are great um, options out there for you to, um, well, basically jailbreak your iPod Touch and to install third-party applications. So I'm not going to go through how to do that in this video because um, there are excellent video tutorials out there. I used the um, video tutorial from Timori and the software provided on his link, which you can find in the, in the description section here. And uh, it's really very easy to, to add jailbreak to your iPod Touch. Um, secondly, I used um, the tutorial from Jeff to add Summerboard as well as other third-party applications, including the iPhone applications to the iPod Touch. So as you can see here, I've got two pages worth of additional applications, which thus makes this machine absolutely incredible to use. Um, so I just want to run through a few few additional tips for you. Um, first of all, if you go to Safari and go to the Apple.com website, um, if you click on the link uh, on the main page for web applications, you can see you can get access to, to tons of links here, including um, links to use uh, converters, uh, bookmark the few. Uh, so bookmark the few utilities, including converters, so that you can actually convert uh, measurements and other kind of useful applications. So you can convert currency, length, volume, and so on and so forth. Okay, so it's pretty easy to use. So there are tons of web applications that are available on that from there. So you just bookmark it and anywhere where you have internet access you can make use of it. Um, other useful tools is that if you have passwords that you want to protect, you can get Lockbox, which is a really cool software. You can key in a password uh, and add any kind of um, serial numbers, passwords, website links and it's it's protected. Um, Apollo is a really good software to use for um, basically adding um, your ICQ or MSN or .Mac or um, AOL messenger service to your iPod Touch so that's recommended as well. Um, there's Finder, which acts like uh, exactly like what the Finder does on your Mac, um, so that's pretty cool. So you can you can browse your media library, you can add um, documents, and this will come in really useful um, if you use a lot of uh, text documents. Instead of using notes, which can be um, a bit of a hassle if you want to type in all your notes with your thumbs, but I prefer to use um, an application called Text Edit. So you can edit um, text documents on your uh, computer, save it a, as a .txt file, and then um, FTP it to your iPod Touch. And then you can just open any text file that you want, uh, and uh, you can get access to your documents that way. Um, this is the jailbreak installer, and it allows you to um, when you're online on the Wi-Fi, it allows you to select additional applications that you want to access. So there's heaps of um, applications that you can try out. Uh, not all of them will be useful. You just got to try them out and see which ones you like. You can uninstall them anytime by clicking on the uninstall button. So these are the apps that I have installed on my iPod Touch. There's maps, just like on the iPhone, so you can uh, look at the city where you're at. This is a satellite photo. You can also get maps. Really indispensable if you're if you're a traveler. 
okay you can you can pretty much install um, any kind of games on your iPod touch but I gotta say that this is more for I mean I've got Pac-Man Mario Brothers and other stuff in here but uh, I gotta say that this is more for show than anything else because it's kind of tough to uh, maneuver with the uh, touchpad I mean it's you can get some kicks out of it but don't you know you won't you won't have uh, much of a chance trying to beat high scores or whatnot because it's, it's not that easy. You can also play games in um, landscape mode, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else is there? I mean, apart from the basic videos and movies, which is what it's best known for, um, you know, there's so just so many applications out there. Like Sketches, for example, allows you to draw uh, on the screen and you can basically um, upload, uh, you can load up your photos and, and you can draw over them and you can shake it and it disappears. Um, you can um, just have a sc basic screen and then you can draw instructions. Uh, if you had a map, for example, you can draw directions and uh, it's pretty cool. You just shake it and it goes away. Um, other applications like books is pretty cool. I've loaded up um, uh, my. I've got a Bible in here, so when I go for Sunday Mass, I don't have to carry around a thick Bible. I just refer to this comprehensive doc, um, uh, Bible, which is stored on my iPod Touch. Uh, you can download other books as well to refer to. Um, Weedict is. Uh, indispensable as well. It's basically a, an entire encyclopedia on your iPod Touch. So you can type in anything and do a quick search for it. And then you've got the Merriam-Webster dictionary as well as um, you know, a whole ton of information of anything you want to search for. Um, other great tips is you know you should uh, you can sign up for great podcasts for free and uh, all the video podcasts have a new dimension now like I've got Sesame Street downloaded for my kid uh, and he can watch Sesame Street at any time so that's also a free download that's a good tip um, what else can you do uh, there's some neat stuff to just for show off but you know it's not really that useful for example you can play this labyrinth game and you can move this little ball around you can see that um, yeah, uh, what else can you do? Um, yeah, there are um, magic tricks that you can download now, which are pretty cool. For example, you can make, um, whoops, you can make popcorn. So you can just shake it and then it makes popcorn. <laughs> And, uh, you know, if you're hungry, you can just dig your finger in and get some out and uh, munch on them. And then, uh, or you can just pour it all out if you want. Oops. <laughs> and there you go. It's magic tricks with the iPod touch. Um, what else here? You can customize themes. We've gone through that. Um, that's pretty much what I'm using my iPod touch for right now. As you can see, it's, it's pretty... It's probably one of the most versatile pieces of equipment. I just love it because it's so small. Um, the other tip I can give you is that I've got this great case to put it in. Um, it's really thin and uh, it's got a clip as well. I can clip it to my bag or my belt. Or you can see, you can, you can see it's, it's really good and it's a little zip here for the headphones and uh, the, uh, the stand. So. This is a really good case and really affordable as well. I think it's uh, it's about five bucks. <laughs> you can get it from uh, Gola.com, I believe. So it's a. These are my tips for you. I hope you um, get the most out of your iPod Touch. Thanks for watching.